Sarah Kay here and welcome to my channel and if you're new here if you haven't already what do you do hit this lovely red subscribe button we declare that you did you can get one of these uh, I got it from wish or Amazon see the link below and for all my returning subs thanks so much for stopping by so today is a different kind of video um, I haven't really done this before this is gonna be a shop my stash makeup. So I'm just gonna go through and show you my regular setup and my daily wear, normal wear makeup that I already have set that I use. And then we're gonna go through my stash because I'm overdue to take some of these guys out from hiding because they've been hiding for so long. So I'm just gonna kind of show you my stash real quick and then we'll get on to what I'm using now and go through my stash, like all the items. So let's see what my stash so looks like. So this is the first bag of my stash. This is all my concealers and um, foundations. So this will be the first stash we go through. Second, I like to keep my blushes separate. So this is my uh, blush stash. I have quite a bit. And there we go to the eyes. This is my eye stash, check it out. I have got a bunch. And then we have a lip stash, yeah. And then these are all my palettes. There's a couple contour. As you can see, I have quite a bit. And eyeshadow palettes. And the last thing I have is this kit, this makeup. Kit. This is from Ulta. It's so pretty. I will open up and show you. So let's get to, I'm going to show you what I'm using now. And then we are going to go through, I can't even hold everything up, all of my stash, palettes, everything. So let's so here go. Here is my regular beauty stash set up here. This is my beauty station. As you can see, it's not a lot of stuff. So basically, this is my eye center. Basically, I keep all my eye shadow brushes, blender brushes, and my beauty blender foundation, and just some different miscellaneous stuff. And this is all of my current makeup. I have it kind of organized here in the order you do your face. And then these are my brushes. These are my big powder brushes. I love this. This brush is from Wish. Super big, super fluffy. These are kind of my blush contour brushes I have left over. And these are all my foundation brushes. Yes, everything looks like it could be cleaned. So. Let's move on to what I currently use, and then we'll go to shop my stash. Let's start with, these are my bases, such as my primers. I've had a bunch of these Chanel Base Lumiere I've been using, um, a bunch of BB Cream Glow, your basic primers. So I've got quite a bit of primers I need to use, and this, I actually got off Wish. This is the Essence Wonder Oil. I actually put a dab on my foundation brush because my skin tends to get a little dry. So this works great and it mixes well with the foundation. So this is the next. Uh, Made Cheer. This is a concealer. Oops. I really don't use it that much. Um, basic concealer. I think I got this off Wish. It works okay, but I'm not a big um, concealer. Okay, then we're gonna go to this little pouch. This would be where my foundations are. Um, so as you can see, it's empty. That's why we gotta shop my stash. So I'm currently using this BB uh, Tinted Moisture Cream SPF 30. It actually works pretty good as a little concealer. So I definitely am gonna shop the stash and pull out a foundation. So yeah, I have this second row here. This is basically my 
MAC press powder. This is my go-to. I love the MACs, as you can see. This one I have used up quite a bit. And this is the MAC Studio Fix MAC. This is the shade NC30, which is the cool shades. I love this. This is my go-to. Even if you don't put foundation on, this you don't need it with this. Quick five minutes ready. I love the Studio MAC. Then I have some loose powder. This is a banana luxury powder. Uh, it works pretty good. I like it. I think I got okay, it right here. These are well. my highlighters. This is uh, actually Avon. This is Mark. You can tell I have used this quite a bit. I use it for uh, contouring and bronzing. And then this is another Mark Avon one. This one is actually so pretty. Very, very pretty. I use this as my highlighter. That lovely, lovely highlighter color in the middle. It's really, really gorgeous. And then I also have this, which is a make. This is a shimmer highlighter as well. So as you can see, I've got three highlighters. Then this area right here, this is just basically a mixture of a cheek and eye palette. Let's see if I can open it up. It's actually pretty. I've used it. I've used these colors, the blue. They're pretty bright and colorful, but I love the blushes, which I have yet to start now using. We're going to go to this row, which is blush, eyeshadow, and some palettes. So I've only got currently three blushes I'm using. This is a three palette blush. Beautiful color, as you can see. I've used a lot of this. This is a Trifle Cosmetics Raspberry Ripple. I think this was from an Ipsy. I also got this Hot Mama. I love the Hot Mama brand. This is a really pretty blush as well. I haven't used much, but I kind of go back and forth between all my blushes. And then this is a blush and bronzer. I really like this one. I've used quite a bit, as you can see. And let's move on to, these are just some single eye shadows. Uh, I love this egg. I'm sure you guys have seen this before. Very, very pretty. This used to be a highlighter, but that was my fault. I dropped it and busted it. These eyeshadows are really pretty. I just used that purple one today when I was filming earlier, and I really like it. They're really gorgeous colors. So Then we have, this is kind of a single, just a small brown palette. I like these colors, very pretty, very easy to take on the go. Then I had this Chanel. This is a silver. Last time I opened it, it fell out. There it is. It's uh, quite pretty. I've had this for a while. Um, it doesn't go on quite smoothly, you gotta work with it. Um, but yeah, Chanel. I think it was a little overpriced for what it does. And let's move on. I've got a couple palettes. palettes I'm currently using. This one I bought from, I think this was a Miss A. This one is pretty. Look at those colors. These are basically all shimmers, as you can tell. I've been using this one quite a bit. Very pretty. I love these colors. And the next one, this is a Essence How to Brighten Your Eyes. This I got from Ulta. And you see it has these cool cards that gives you directions. And these are the colors. You get the really dark, you got a couple shimmers. Very pretty. I've been using this one as well. And then I've got a couple more. This is from Wish. This one is Hyundaiin. And this is a glitter palette. These are really, really pretty. Check these out. Woo. I love these. I use these whenever I'm wearing something flashy. I want a little glitter. I got the colors to go with it. So these are beautiful. Check it out. And then the last palette. This is pretty old. I only really keep it to follow the look. Like where to put the colors if you want a darker colors towards the um, lash line and so forth. So this one's pretty old. I don't use it really the shadows. It's very bad pigmentation. I just use it for guidance. 
See, on the back it actually gives you a little guide as well. So those are my current ones. So in here on with to. all my mascaras I'm currently wearing uh, or using. This is Lancome at the end. This one is like this teal blue. I got that from Wish. This is the Ulta. Let's put these away. This is the Ulta Plush Drama. I really like that mascara as well. And this is the Benefits. They're real. Then I have my eyeliner collection. What I'm using right now. I love this is a stamp. The second one, you can see a left wing. And this is a ColourPop gold one. This is a brown. And this is just your basic black. And then this last, this is all my eyebrow stuff, all my eyebrow brushes. I love this e.l.f. This is the e.l.f. Clear Brow and Last Mascara. I use this to tame my eyebrows. Oops. <laughs> and also a good hair tamer. So I recommend this. This is my favorite e.l.f. product. And I just have a couple uh, other Wonder Brow. This is great to use as well. I also use this to cover up some grays sometimes when I haven't had time to get the hair done. So you want a quick cover up gray? This Wonder Brow is perfect. And that's about it. So, oh, and I have my little contour. I think everybody has one of these contours. There's my contour kit. As you can see, I've used this color over here, the right, more than any of these. So now the final thing is my lipstick stick bag. I have a couple uh, lip liners. This is a pretty mermaid color. I love it. I'm not, I'm not gonna pull these all out. This one is actually a pretty, I like this one. It's a mixture. Purple is almost like a black. And I got some lip plumper. I got some red going on. So this is a wide variety. I got a lot of lip products to use before I need to take any more from my stash, but that's that. So there you guys. This is my, basically my beauty, current beauty setup and makeup, what I am in using now. So let's go stash, shop my stash. I'm going to go through and start the shop my stash and look who's here who wants to visit. This is Nugget. She's interested in all this makeup. Like, mommy, what are you going to do with this? Nugget, say hi to the camera. Say hi. Okay, so let's get on with this. The first shot, my stash. This is all of my foundation, powders, concealers. So I'm gonna dump it and show you what I got. I'm probably gonna pick actually a foundation because as you saw, I do not have a lot of foundation. So here it is. Let's try and pull out the foundations first. So this is the CoverGirl Outlast 3-in-1. This is probably what I'm going to use next because I've had this the longest. So this is definitely, I'm shopping and I'm buying this. Taking it out from hiding. Yay. Uh, the next foundation. Let's see, where did it go? This is the Chanel Perfection Lumiere Velvet Tint Effect. Uh, this is SPS 15. This comes in the 20 beige color uh, shade. So. Uh, I will probably use this up after I use the CoverGirl, but um, definitely need to use this as well. The other foundation I have, this is the IT CC Color Correction Full Coverage Cream SPF 50. So these are my three foundations that I definitely will be pulling out next. It's going to go in this order. It's going to be this one, CoverGirl, Chanel, and the IT. Now let's go to some concealers I have. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Total Cover Concealer Palette. Um, I'll probably pull this out real soon because you saw my other one. Um, I probably use more of this darker color for the actual contour, the dark contour. Um, this looks like more concealer, possibly highlights, which I don't use a lot of the highlight. I like more of the contour. Um, I think that's it for contours, but let's pull. This is a Thrive highlighting stick. So here's a highlighting stick. I don't even remember where I got this from. This is probably in a FabFitFun. Um, this is also another long wear shaping foundation. Oh, I forgot I had this. So this is like a foundation stick. 
Foundation L'Oreal Infallible. Another one of the products. As you can see, this is Ulta Clearance. So that'll go with my foundations. Probably the last one. Um, then let's go on to all these concealers I have. This is... Which one is this? So this is another concealer. Um, I guess that's the brand. I think this was an Ipsy. Um, this is a stick concealer. Bio Aqua. I'm not sure where I got that one, but I will use that as well. I probably will pull one of these concealers because the one I showed you, I don't really use and I don't think it's very good. So this is another one. I think I got this on an Ipsy box or one of those little boxes. This is, this is the Ipsy. Ipsy Aurora Pro Cover Concealer. So I have these concealers. So I will be choosing one of these to put up with replace my toe out of the way and replace with the one that I don't use so I don't know which one is the oldest I'll figure it out I think it's probably this one or so one of these two I'm gonna pull now these oh I think I got one more did I miss it oh this is another photo finish this is another little foundation um, yeah so let's put this back with the foundation this will be last definitely last like I said I'll be using these so this is some pressed powder, which I do like my pressed powders. I have to have a pressed powder. So I'm currently on a MAC Cool Tone. So this is a warm tone. So this is also the MAC Studio Fix Powder Plus Foundation, which is one of my favorites. I love the MAC Studio Fix. I gotta always have one. So when I use the other one, I will be using this one next, and then I will follow it up with this is Bare Minerals Bare Pro Performance Wear Powder Foundation. This is good too. I tested this out and I had to get one. So I totally recommend this as well. And this is last. This is the IT Cosmetic Bye Bye Pores Pressed Powder. It makes your pores disappear. So I guess maybe I should pull this out. I can open it. It's basically... I guess a primer is what it looks like to me. Um, there you go. Yeah, so see it's brand new. I haven't touched it. So maybe I'll just take this out and put it with my primers and um, start using. So that's the first stash. This is all of my concealers, foundation, powder, some highlighters. Um, so there you go. Let's go to the next one. These are my blushes. So. Let's go ahead and dump these out as well. Another fairly, um, to me it's a large collection. I know a lot of you have so much more than this, but to me this is a lot because I don't wear a lot of makeup every day. So anyways, this is my blush collection. So let's turn them over and take a look. So as you saw in my regular stash, I have a couple more blushes I actually need to use before I need to grab any. So. Let's get to the, let's show you the single powder blushes. So this is a Pixie by Petra. This is a peach honey color. It's the powder. This is really pretty. I think I got this off of Wish. This is another Wish one I got. This is a pressed. It's very pretty. I like how the design is with the cute rose in the middle. So it's kind of like the rose. This is very pretty. Don't know what the color shade is, just 08. Then here's another powder. This is Bella Pierre Cosmetics. I don't know where I got this from, but this is a pretty mineral blush, Desert Rose. Um, another powder. I like powder. I like powders, face powder. I like blush powder, mineral powders, and so forth. So I'm not sure what I'm going to use first. And I have a couple palettes, and this is like a highlighter slash blush. So this is Pacifica. This one is pretty. I think this was in a Ipsy bag. I'm going to try and open it. Well, maybe I won't open it. But you can see two pretty, pretty colors. I definitely will start using these once my other blushes are almost used up, which I don't have much longer to go. So this is another B Matte Blush City Color. This I think was in an Ipsy bag as well. Beautiful shades. Okay, this is one of my favorites. This I got from 
This is from Miss A. So I want to open it and show you the pretty pattern. This is the only reason I bought it. So <laughs> take a look. Check out the hearts. Is that so cute or what? I bought this too, I think mostly because of the cute little hearts that are on the palette. I love it, I love it, I love it. So this will be used soon. I don't know why they put these ugly little brushes. They're no good. And the last two, this is a Revolution. Um, this is more like a highlighter. This is the Summer Brick Pink Kiss. Like I said, I like to use this more as a blush. I've already opened it and kind of smeared the colors together, you can see. But it's really, really pretty, really shimmery. So this is gorgeous. And this last one, this is the Bare Minerals. This is also a powder blush. This is a nude color. Um, there it is. I don't know if that's really nude. It's pretty actually, it looks dark to me. So, yeah, I have quite a little collection. I, I love this collection. So here it is again. So once all my blushes are used up, honestly, I don't know which one I'm gonna pick, but I definitely don't need to go and get any more blush. So I'll probably pick two because there's a little variety. So I'll probably pick a powder and then I'll pick one of these palettes. So, okay, let's see the next There's all my eye stuff. So this is eyeshadow, single eyeshadow palettes. This is eyeliner, mascara. So let's go ahead and dump it out. I'll try and arrange them, sort them out as I go. As you can see, I've got quite a bit. So we got some eyebrow, eyebrow. I'm going to try, try and kind of sort them. Eyeshadow. These are all eyeshadows. Eyeshadow, eyeshadow. Look at all this. See? I have quite a bit. And then we have the eyeliners. So let's start with the eyebrow kits. This is a mini eye essential uh, neutralist kit set. I got this, I think, in one of the Fab Fit fun boxes. You have a mini brow pencil, shadow crayon, shadow crayon, and another mini eye pencil. So I'll probably take this out soon because I don't have much eyebrow stuff as you guys saw. This is another Salon Perfect Sculpts and Defines Smudge Free Dual Sided Brush. You can see the brush and there you can see this is like a dark brown. Um, yeah, dark brown. Done in one brow. But I don't do a lot of brow stuff, so, but like I said, I don't need to buy any more. <laughs> then let's go to all oh, my little eyeshadow, single eyeshadow palettes. This is Urban Decay. That's a pretty kind of uh, silver gray color. Um, I don't know what the color is. I can't read that. Anyways, and then I have this e.l.f. I love this e.l.f. palette. I like how it gives you base, lid, crease, line. So if you don't know where to put it, it tells you. And this is the Golden Goddess. Very pretty. I have a couple single. These mellow. I got two of the same brand. Um, I'm not quite sure where I got these. This is very pretty. These are the baked eyeshadow. They're both metallic-y. Um, can't wait to try those. I also have two Bare Minerals. Let you see the colors through the bottom. So this is a Gold Queen Phyllis is the shade, and this says Wild Wild Flower. I think that's what that says. Very pretty. Pink shimmers, because that's all I really like are shimmers. This is a L'Oreal. Oops, this is a L'Oreal powder, just like the mineral ones are. And this one is, yep, loose powder. And these are two pressed powder. This is the City Color Shimmer. Very, very pretty. I love that color. And cheers to life. That is the shade. Then we have this beautiful L'Oreal Metallic Silver. You guys, this has to be one of my favorites. I can't wait to try this. Yeah. And the last one. This is really cute. I think I got this off of Wish as well. Look at that. Three metallic shimmers. You have a gold, you have a brown, and then you have this really shimmery white. I'm excited to try that. Now let's get to mascaras and eyeliner. I do have some, well here's some liquid. 
These are two liquid eyeshadows, very pretty gold right here. I think I got this from Wish, and then this is another pretty gold. I think I got that from an Etsy box. Um, I think that's it for the liquid eyeshadow. This is this is a primer. This should be an eyeshadow. Yep, eyeshadow primer. So the rest of these, mascara, mascara, mascara. So we have a Wet n Wild black. We have this lashes, and we have a Maybelline great lash. I think I have a couple more mascaras. Here's three more. This is a Wonder Wand. Yeah, I don't know that brand. Oops, this is your It Superhero. And this is Lancome. So I got quite a bit. Uh, I do have actually mascara I still need to use before I jump into any of those. And these are all brow pencil pencils and liners. Oops. So it looks like Urban Decay Eye Pencil. This is a beauty for real. That must be uh, the benefits. Then we have oops, Fierce Fierce Flakes, that brand. Then we have a Drying Eyebrow Pencil. Then we have ColourPop. I love ColourPop. It's just a black. I have the gold one you saw in my everyday stash, so this is the colorful color pop. Uh, this is your It Brow Power, and this is your Ulta Eyeliner Dual Eyeliner, and this is Maybelline uh, Liquid Liner Black, and then you have a Eye de Liquid Eyeliner. That's where I draw the line. I like that. Uh, what brand is this? Oh, a Vivico. And then this is a tattooed. Uh, what brand is this? Anyways, and then our last eyeliner. I think this was Ipsy. This is that Lord and Berry brand. So, quite a bit. So, this is the stash. This covers all of my eyeliners, eyeshadows. Eyeshadows, mascara, and brows. So let's go yes, on to the next. This is the lipstick stash. This is such a cute little bag. I don't remember where I got this, but I'm going to dump it out and we'll see what I have to use. So a lot of these are from the Ipsy or Boxy Charm or some Wish. Um, this one I think was a sample. This is definitely not my favorite color. This is one of those another Hondaian. This is a really pretty pink glitter. I love this. This one is NYX Lingerie. And this is just another lip matte color. These are some lip glosses. This is a Shimmer Crystal Lip Gloss. Very pretty. I got another lip gloss. As you guys can see, I love shimmers. That's basically all I want are shimmers. This is, what is this? This is an LA color, kind of peachy. Oops. This is actually a pretty cute color. I used it. This, this, look at you guys. Look at this gorgeous, look at the packaging. I think I bought it because it was just so cute and pretty. This is a really pretty pink shimmer color though. I love this lipstick. And this is the NYX Lip Oil. This is everything. This was in one of my Walmart boxes. Excited to try that. This is, looks like this is the Ultra Mineral Lip Gloss. And this is from Wish. This is probably my last beauty one. I love this thing because look at the pretty rose, or I can't remember what the flower is in here. I hope you guys can see it. Look at that. It's a clear color. Um, it does have a slight pink tint, but I think I just bought it because of that pretty flower in the middle. Look at that. How did they do that? So that's that one. Then I have this other really dark, matte. This is the Tarte. Uh, not my favorite color. I've used it before, but um, that'll probably be last before I take out of the stash. Um, this is... I can't remember what brand this is. I think this is like a brown. Yep, this is just a brown color. Not bad. Not sure if I'll use that anytime soon. Another brown. Color Mates. 
and this is really cute. I love this. Adesse, is that how you pronounce it? This is a balm and color combo, as you can see. I'm excited to try that. This is the NYX. I'm gonna try to open it. This is NYX matte. Two matte colors. Uh, it looks like it's matte metal lip cream. Those are actually pretty nice colors. I can't wait to try those. And this, last but not least, this is a Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme. So I haven't tried this yet, so I'm <laughs> excited to see how that works. So, all right, guys, that was my lip. Yeah, lip stash. So let's go on my to my favorites. The uh, these are my palettes, current palettes I have. Uh, so let's open them up and take a look. The first one, let's go to the Tarte Pro Glow. This one is beautiful. I will probably save this for a while um, because I have quite a bit of other highlighters to use. But look at how pretty this one is. You guys have probably seen this one before. This actually came in a FabFitFun, but look at these gorgeous colors. Yes, and the packaging is so pretty. I love Tarte. I think Tarte has to be one of my favorite uh, brands when it comes to their packaging and marketing. It's gorgeous. So let's go on to the next Tarte palette, since we're on Tarte. This is a beautiful eyeshadow palette. I just love the way it looks. Look at this pretty packaging. This lips, this gold. It has to be my favorite. And this is the Leave Your Mark eyeshadow palette. I don't think I've even swatched these, so let's take a look. Let's open it up. Okay, yeah, I did swatch them, but look at these colors. It's kind of your nudes, neutral color, um, but this is kind of just my style. I love the shimmers. Shimmers are my favorite. This is gorgeous. I can't wait to try this one. And the next palette, let's go to this one. This is Pure Be Your Selfie. So this is the Be Your Selfie eyeshadow palette. This is another one that I'm pretty sure came in my Fab Fit Fun. This one is also pretty. Wow, look at these. Gorgeous. A lot of shimmer. Very, 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 very pretty. So, okay. Hold on, I'm recording. Give me five minutes. And now let's pull up this one. This is from Wish. Uh, so this is kind of like a mint. I'd say it's like a mint collection, green collection. You got some browns. Um, all those greens. It's really really pretty. I mean, I love it. It's gorgeous colors. They're not very pigmented um, But if you work with it, you wet it down a little bit, they will work. So very pretty So the last two, these are Freedom palettes. I uh, got both of these off of uh, Miss A. This one is absolutely my favorite. This is the Freedom Be Free to Make Up and I wonder what is the Pro 12 Chasing Rainbows. So this is the Chasing Rainbows palette. You guys, this is so gorgeous. They're so bright. They're like neon colors. Wow, this has to be one of my favorites. <laughs> I've used a couple of them, but you can't really tell. But take a look. Most of them are shimmers. There's a couple mattes. Like the dark pinks are mattes and the rest are shimmer. The yellow is a matte, but oh my god, you guys. Check it out. Look at that. How can you not love this palette? So, love it. And another one. This is also Freedom. This is also Miss A. And this one is... This is the Jewels, Jewels and Riches collection, you guys. Gorgeous. This one is mostly all shimmers because that's my favorite. I don't like a lot of matte. So, this is why I ordered this one. Well, Jewels and Shimmers. So, it should be all, right? All shimmers. Look at these colors. Yes. These are gorgeous. I've used a couple, swatched some of these, but those will be uh, coming up soon when I use it in my other little palettes. So I love it. You guys, this is my favorite. I love looking at palettes. So I have all these, not much. I know a lot of you have a whole bunch more than me, but for me, that's a lot. So that is the palettes. So I got one this last is thing. My last this thing. This is actually a makeup kit from Ulta. This is during, I think, one of the holiday seasons. Um, I think I got it on clearance, but I think it's absolutely gorgeous. It comes with, yeah, you've probably seen these before. So I'm gonna open it up completely, and then we'll look at it while it's whole. 
I mean, wow, look at this. So you have your, sorry, it's kind of got the reflection going on. So you have lip glosses. You have some eyeshadow shades here. It looks like maybe some uh, contour. Then you have all of these beautiful, beautiful uh, eyeshadows. And looks like you have some lip liners here. And these look like eyeliners. Then you come over here to this beautiful collection of blushes. I should have taken the plastic off, but that's okay. So this will be, I don't know when I'm going to use this. I'm, oh, and there's the uh, blush brushes right here. So I don't know if I will use this or this might be in a giveaway. So we shall see, but it's absolutely gorgeous. So that's it. Okay, so I'm back. So I hope that wasn't too much for you. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all of my stashed makeup and it was about time to bring some of them out from hiding. So I'm definitely gonna use the one of the foundations that I picked and probably a couple of the palettes. So hey guys, tell me if you liked it. Tell me if you'd like to see more of this kind of stuff. Um, you know, I'm not a MUA. I am nowhere near being a beauty guru, but I love buying makeup, especially if it looks pretty. And as you can see, I have a lot of stuff I bought because I think it's just pretty. So all right, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Tell me what you think. I'll put the links down to some of these big palettes if you're interested in purchasing any of them. So what do we do? Until next time. Peace out.